Good morning from the Troxy here in Tower Hamlets. It's just gone 6am and as you can see behind me, they're still counting underway in the council elections. But just a few hours ago, this hall was alive with cheers as Lutfur Rahman was declared the new mayor of Tower Hamlets, returning to the position he's held for four years for Tower Hamlets first, seeing off a close competition from John Biggs of Labour. Initially, Rahman and his supporters celebrated speculatively, gathering down there on the count floor, until finally the returning officer called all the candidates for the mayor election to the stage. After Rahman's speech, John Biggs came to the stage where he was booed by Tower Hamlet's first supporters. Immediately after he was declared mayor, Rahman was rushed into a press conference where he spoke emotionally about his treatment by the media. The mayoralty is a gift from the people of this borough. It's a gift, it's a trust. And all I want to do is to make sure that, that trust I respect in us. And for people to unfairly judge me and say I'm a racist, I'm a sectarian, it saddens me. I grew up with black kids, white kids. I grew up with Jewish kids, Christian kids, people with no faith. And to corner me for the, for the sake of politics, for the sake of politics, to corner me just because of my color, because of who I am, because I, be, I happen to be a Muslim, which I'm very really proud of, unfairly, is wrong. He also spoke of the campaign that he sees as politically motivated by Eric Pickles, the community secretary, to investigate his conduct in office. But outside the cinema, the mood was very different. His supporters had gathered all day in their hundreds under the close supervision of the Metropolitan Police to celebrate his victory. And they were thrilled when he finally emerged. Yeah, oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic is beyond, you know, I, can exp I can't explain. Look, people are enjoying. It's like a celebration. Um, um, early hour of the morning, so all people on the street and they're enjoying like a... So it's clear that Rahman did have the electorate behind him, especially with such a large turnout for a mayoral election, 47% here in Tower Hamlet. So what can we learn from this election? Well, a few things are going to be wondering. We're going to be wondering what is going to happen to Rahman's administration in the near future. Of course, he's going to be under scrutiny uh, from the accusations that have been levelled at him already. And also, Labour will be wondering why they didn't win and what this bodes for them in the coming general election next year. But of course, despite being past six o'clock in the morning here at the Troxy, counting is continuing for the local government council elections. And you can see on the counting floor behind me that the ballot boxes are still being counted. We are going to keep you up to date throughout the morning and make sure you get all the final results when we hear them. It's John Wakefield reporting for East London Lines from the Troxy.